Hi guys, today's tutorial is for this plaid and jean inspired design. You'll need a thin art brush and polish for this tutorial. We'll start by creating some wide stripes on your nail. I'm just using the brush that comes along with the polish and I'm creating gray stripes first, vertical down my nail, you'll see I did down the center, then on either side, leaving a space in between that's the similar thickness. Now filling in that area, I'm using my red polish and I'm just using a bright red in this case. One of my red stripes went a little bit wide at the bottom, so I'm just taking a thin art brush and tidying that up so that my lines are pretty much the same width. I was careful not to get a lot of polish up by my cuticle because I find it's more work to clean it up and less work to go in with my thin art brush and just tidy up that area. So that's what I'm doing now. And in between each of my steps, I do make sure everything dries. So moving on, I am using that same thin art brush and I'm adding a black square on top of that gray polish I've already created. So you know what width you want it. And basically the height is equal to the width so that you have a square. We're gonna move on and now clean up that brush and we're gonna add a darker red polish on top of that bright red line. Again, you want your square to be pretty much the same size as that black square you've added. Continue building your squares on your nail until your nail is full. So here I am on my last row and mine worked out well that all of my squares were the same size. You may find when you get to your last row that you only have room to do a partial square, which is fine. Um, you may prefer to work from the tip to the cuticle end of your nail so that if you do have a half square, it's at the cuticle part of your nail. If there's any areas you need to touch up, you're going to do that before moving on to your next step. Moving on, we're going to add some white lines to your nail, just using my thin art brush and a white polish. For the vertical lines, I've added those in the black and gray areas, and you'll see I've just added it off to the side. Depending on your polish, you may need to do a second coat or just touch up some of the lighter areas. For the horizontal lines, I've added those wherever I have a black and bright red row, and I'm adding that white line near the bottom of that section. So continue adding your white lines until you've completed your nail. So once you've added all of your vertical and horizontal lines, you're ready to start adding your diagonal lines. The white diagonal lines go in the black squares that have been left behind on your nail and three or four stripes in each of those squares is all you need. Try to keep them nice and thin. They don't have to be perfect. If you look at mine, they're not all identical. Allow that to dry and apply your matte top coat. Moving on to the jean nail, I've applied a white base and I've allowed that to dry fully before I begin. Now I forgot to film there, but I did add my dark blue polish with the dry brush technique, so that's taking the majority of the polish off your brush and just dragging your brush lightly across the nail. I'm now repeating that with a lighter blue polish, but I did leave a little bit more of the polish on the brush because I wanted to fill in the majority of the white on my nail. So once that's done and dry, I take my white polish and my thin art brush again, and I'm just adding some little dashes down my nail to replicate the stitches on the jean pattern. Once this is dry, you're going to apply your top coat and you can add a nail stud if you want. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching guys, I do hope you like it. Please leave me some comments below, thumbs up, and new subscribers are always welcome.